This is how to do a firmware upgrade on a PC computer. So the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is the product that you are checking to see if you need a firmware update for. Uh, so I'm gonna use the Perform VG in this uh, video. So I've got my power and I've also got my USB cable to connect. So uh, I'm gonna leave those there and let those chill for a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the interweb. Let me use Google Chrome here. And I'll uh, put the link for this into the description of the uh, of the video here. But um, in case you don't have access to that direct link, you just go to our website, tchelicon.com. And you're going to hit this support button uh, at the top of the screen. And if you get this little, uh, we use cookies, just say, yes, I agree. And uh, from the support page, you're going to go down to the bottom to the free software button. And you're going to go ahead and click that. And so there's a version for Mac. There's a version for PC. There's also a driver over here for Perform VK and Perform VE. So if you don't use those products, don't worry about that. If you do use those products, check out this other video that we're going to do. Uh, but yeah, so PC, we're going to do voice support too for the uh, Windows icon that you see here. Download that. And uh, that's going to download. Click on that. Go through the process. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to pretend like I did that. And I've got my voice support here. So before we open voice support, we are going to connect our product. So I'm going to put the uh, USB. The big end goes in the computer. The little end goes into the product. Just goes in the back here and power there we go so that's connecting um, and we're gonna go ahead and open voice support and here we go so it recognizes it right away if there's a little yellow icon here this is the update icon that means that there's a firmware update that's available and it will automatically pop up this box that says new firmware update available. If you're like, what does this firmware update do? Maybe I don't want to do the firmware update. You can hit show details and it's going to say this one adds the ability to do whatever it is that the update is. For the VG, it's the talk tuner function for the switch, switch, switch six or switch three. So you can either start the update from here. If you accidentally hit cancel and it brings you back to this screen, no problem. Hit the update button. It'll bring you back that box and you can start the update from there. All right, your uh, firmware update is complete. Yay, congratulations, we're so good at this. Hit OK. So now when this is all done, uh, just make sure that you disconnect your device with that button before you actually disconnect your device and you're done. If you have an issue with your voice support recognizing your product, um, good trick is just connect the product before you turn on voice support. So quit voice support, open it back up, uh, make sure your product's connected and open uh, voice support. You can also hit the scan button and it will scan for devices as well. Um, but the foolproof way to do it is quitter, shut her down, plug it in and make sure that it's plugged in before you open up voice support. So there you go. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you won't miss any uh, tutorial videos that we have coming out or product releases. Thanks so much guys.